So coaches, with this, this isn't some extra drill that you have to take time out of your practice to incorporate. We just want you to do the same stations that you're already doing and just put this on and hit the same stations just with this on. So it doesn't matter if it's dry hacks, doesn't matter if you're hitting off a tee, if you're hitting soft toss or if you're hitting live pitching, whatever it might be. We just want you to do the same thing that you're already doing, but just hit with this on. So even if you're just taking swings off a tee, do the same thing, do your same stations, just incorporate this into those stations. So now that we've learned that muscle memory of, of getting that dot all the way to the pitcher and engaging your lower half, now we want to build a little strength and at the same time continue building that muscle memory. So for this one again, we're just hooking onto a chain link fence and this time we'll hook up to the front hip. So for me, right handed hitter, that's my left hip, left handed hitter, that's their right hip. And again, the band will be 45 degrees behind their body and this time we're going behind the plate. All right. And for this one, all we want them to do is take real live swings, hit the ball, and again, make sure they're able to hold their finish, look down, check that visual cue of the dot all the way to the pitcher. So this one, we just want to go five reps, look down, hold it, see that dot all the way to the pitcher, back heel straight up to the sky, front leg straight. Those are the only three things we're focused on right now. Not worried about ball flight, not worried about any of that, just these three visual cues that they can check, mainly that dot to the pitcher, just focusing on lower half. So again, the, the three common swing flaws that we'll see in this one is the hip not getting all the way through, the back heel will be over rotated or under rotated, and the front leg won't be straight. So there's a couple things that you can do for these kids. If, if they can't get their hip all the way through with that dot to the pitcher and hold this position, you can scoot them back. That will take away some of the resistance in the band. You can also go down a grade in the band. So this is a gold band. The next grade down would be the black band. And the least resistance is the gray band. And if this seems to be too easy for them, it's pretty easy for them to get and hold this position. You can scoot them farther out. That will add a little resistance. And make sure that they're able to get there and really hold this finish. If they're wobbling, if they're not able to do it, scoot them back or go down in one band. Go to the iTunes or Google Play app stores and download the free PC360 Baseball Hitting app.